Good to see you back. I'm Mateo Aguilobosk and this is Building Modern APIs with RESTful. In this, um, in this video, I want to show you how you can use the basic authentication by uh, passing a certain header in your request and then use that to authenticate your requests. So we saw in the previous video how we can use authentication providers to authenticate our requests and then uh, get authorization on the resources that you are dealing with. And what that means is that we are identifying the request that we are making as a certain user and that certain user can do some things or not and that's up to, to Drupal to decide what a user can do or not. But we are uh, going to respect that inside of RESTful. So, to start, we looked at the cookie authentication and now we're going to look at the other one that's provided by RESTful Core, which is called the basic authentication. So if we go back to, to this class and open basic authentication, you will see that the key is basic auth. So if I want to only enable basic auth, for my band's resource, I can just do this. Now, if I refresh, mm -hmm, I just enable basic auth for authenticating the, the requests. So I'm gonna put this back to, to true and this to false so we can see if in fact, a request was authenticated or not based on base auth. Actually, uh, let me set this to only basic auth so we don't see, the, we are sure that we are not authentication, authenticating via cookie. So, and this uh, is set to false. So any authentication that happens is going to be basic auth. All right, so how do we, from the front end, authenticate uh, a request? So uh, let me, for this, let me open up this. Uh, this is an HTTP client that I, that I use. Oops. And let me create a new tab here. And uh, what we want to do is make a request to HTTP colon slash slash contrib dot local api pens. Um, I'm not sure if I cleared my caches, so I'm gonna clear them again, just in case. It's not gonna hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna make a request and I'm getting a forbidden, a denied access. So what I need to do in order to make basic auth work is you can either uh, use the helper functions that are in your in your framework of choice uh, in Angular, React, iOS or whatever that you use or you can uh, basically do this on your own. So uh, what you need to do is you're going to have to add an extra header. Uh, sorry, let me get here, uh, you're going to have to add an extra header and this is, oops, sorry, uh, in the get credentials, I know that I have my, my header here, yeah, uh, <clears throat> so it gets parsed and then we're going to check the authentication based on the username and password that are stored in Drupal. So you don't know to you don't need to know anything about this uh, because this is abstracted from you. But if you want to find the code that is responsible for authenticating your request in in RESTful, uh, it's over there. So I'm gonna go back since I don't exactly remember how I need to do this basic. Oh, oops. Authentication. Uh, this looks like it. Um, so, 
from the client side I need to get a header called authorization so I'm gonna type that in header name authorization and then it's gonna be basic space and some weird stream of characters basic space and some weird stream of characters that is the base 64 encoded of the username and password so how do you do that you can do it uh, in multiple ways I normally do base 64 encode and my username which is admin and my password which is admin don't do this uh, this is stupid but this since this is my vagrant machine only used for this example I, I can't afford myself to use this super stupid password so I'm encoding base 64 the username and password you uh, can do this I'm doing this with PHP you can do this with JavaScript or whatever and I'm gonna paste this here basic space and this so if I do this and everything goes well instead of getting the forbidden I'm gonna get the contents of the band because my request is gonna be author, uh, authenticated as the admin user because of the username and password that I contained into this uh, into this string so if I hit send it's gonna go back to RESTful to our Drupal using the authentic authorization header and it's going to return with the with the content of the of the endpoint now if i add some random text here uh, this is not going to check back to admin admin so it's not going to result into a drupal user and i'm going to get a 403 so again if i undo this uh, I'm gonna get the contents of the and the contents of the resource. So this is how you can authorize your request using basic auth. And now as a word of caution, see here I'm using HTTP. So sending this over HTTP means that uh, people can be sniffing your your password. Or your requests and they can see that you're using basic authentication and all that they need to do imagine that I only see this but I'm smart enough to figure out that whoops this is an authorization header this says basic space so this is the base 64 encoded username and password so I'm gonna go over to my terminal I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna print base 64 base 64 decode and I'm gonna get your username and password so uh, what that means is that if you use this over HTTP without HTTPS you're assuming that anyone can catch your password and as you can assume that is not ideal so please use HTTPS whenever you're using this basic authorization and uh, if you don't want to set HTTPS all over the place you can just make sure that you have an you have protected the requests that need this kind of authorization uh, because otherwise if you don't send this information encrypted anyone can grab this string and with a very very basic manipulation they can know your username and password and then they, they can log in into your, your Drupal and do all kinds of nasty stuff so uh, yeah just be sure that you are responsible with that and from here we're gonna move on to token-based authorization. So thank you, bye.